It tells us what the long run cost function of each individual firm in the wheat industry is. It tells us that the demand has changed because of the increase uh, in a price of a substitute. So people have become less price sensitive. And we'll deal with that in a second. But first, let's look at the question. It says, what is the change in the long run equilibrium quantity of wheat? Well, now that we're in the long run, we're still dealing with perfect competition. So we know we're going to use prices equal to marginal cost. But now we also know we can use that marginal cost is equal to average cost. So price is equal to marginal cost, which is equal to average cost. We're going to need to use our marginal cost function set equal to our average cost function to solve. So we know that marginal cost is 8.83 minus Q plus 0.03 Q squared. We know that average cost is just total cost divided by quantity. So we write our total cost function, which was 8.83 Q minus 0.5 Q squared plus 0.01 Q cubed. And we divide that whole thing by quantity. We can set these two equations equal now. Notice that average cost, the Q's are going to cancel. So 8.83 is going to be left. 0.5 Q squared is going to be 0.5 Q. And the 0.01 Q cubed will knock one of those Q's off of the exponent. So we'll have 0.01 Q squared. So from here, we're going to just do algebra to solve. We get 0.02 Q squared is equal to 0.5 Q. We can divide each side by 0.5 Q. So on the right side, we're left with 1 is equal to 0.04 Q. And we can solve for Q is equal to 25. Well, now that we know that what, what quantity is equal to, we can find what price was equal to because we know price was just equal to marginal cost. So we can go back and plug in 25 everywhere we see a Q in marginal cost. And we solve for the price to be equal to 2.58. So now we need to look at our demand curves. Well, we had a demand, uh, our first demand curve was this, and we know that it's shifted. So first, let's find what quantity demanded was equal to before the demand curve changed. Well, we see that before the demand curve changed, we sold 73,451.8 units. Well, the price is saying the same, we know that, but now demand is changing. So under the new conditions, we're selling 79,197.46 units. So to answer this question, we know that quantity is increasing. We went from a smaller quantity to a larger quantity. So we need to find the difference in these two numbers. And we know it's going to be positive because it was a positive change. And that kind of makes sense because they said that customers have become less price sensitive. So we'd expect to sell more.